Onivia, League of Legends highlights. Mana when Gragas was blind at the ton. But it also means that Zeus well, can now lock Irelia. Yeah, Zeus is already talking, so I think the Gragas is definitely going mid. Oh! The oh! And maybe not. I mean, at this rate. This uh, Yasuo. And then on bot side, as mentioned, it will be Kumayushi. And, and maybe it's De neither. Oh, uh oh, here we go. In. Just Zeus and everything. <laughs> Level one. In we go. The heal on top of Karia. Yeah. He can't get away. The flash on in. And Envy will collect. First blood as Goomba. He's trying to get the kill, and he will be able to take down Kyle, but yeah, now he doesn't have much health. Can Envy take him down from here is really the question. That's one missed Q. Guma is coming back left. Juking right. And he's on the way. Oh, there's the Q. He's just trying to buy time. As Envy, he's going to hit level two, and that's going to be the end of him. As the bottom lane of Liv Sandbox gives two kills. To check on Willer, spots him right away. Uh oh uh-oh, doesn't know that owner's here, blocks the charge! And Willer does not have Flash anymore, and he does not have the Arctic Advance, so he's gonna go down, and that was very nicely calculated by owner to set. The, the 1v1's not even good, like this is a... Uh -oh. oh, Guma. Hold that thought. Owner is here, but guess who's also here? It's closer, and he's level five? Okay, they're really gonna try to force this one. See if they get the knock up as it will be tanked up by closer, but they can't quite get the kill. Here he eventually goes down. But so does Closer, as in the back, Willer's just left to the Wolves, as that's also going to be the snipe, and they just totally wipe them down on the bottom side of the map. Where that we saw it recently. Let's try again! Okay, well, here we go again. You know, second time's the charm as they get in. There's no teleport this time, they say, and they will take down the Jin. Maybe he could try to just execute himself, and, well, no, he's actually going back in. Okay, we're going north, looking for the turn. As no knockup allowed, going to miss it onto Birdall, and that's just going to be him wasting as much time as possible. And he does buy it. So specifically, Ash Sejuani actually can be quite big. Okay, they're flashing in for this one as it is Boom! Ezreal, and the arrow comes in. This is Ash Sejuani. Guma is so dead. His is not able to last hit that. He's actually going in more onto carry it. Moderately tank here. Oh, the flash in. Faker's looking for more. No subs, as you mentioned, and it's just alley ooped over to Owner. As Kyle is here, or maybe looking for more. He's pretty squishy here on the Ash, and down he will go. That's a double kill now to Owner, but we're going to have to trade Baker's life for that one as Willer comes on in and scoops that one. Down, but it does mean that there was positioning for T1 to then turn this into a... <laughs> into uh, nice. Oh, there we go. <laughs> turn it into a, a kill on the Dragon. All right, closer at our dozen. Damn, and they're trying to force something. They're flashing on top of an Ezreal who does not have flash himself, and I guess... The shift was down, and so is Envy. Down he will go, says Ash, goes on to Lee Sin, but he's alone, and now Ash is gone too. As Zeus is just farming kills now, that is two more on the board for the Yasuo top. Doesn't matter if Jin's behind, he is just there to uh, support. Yeah. What closer. is going on here? I think Closer is very dead. Yeah. He does not have the tools. I guess he was trying to push while they were on the... Objective, but yeah, he's just gonna go down, so that's another kill for owner. For Audel, that can Yeah, I mean, maybe the Ash Shajuani combo. They do have a ton. I mean, what? they are gonna get <laughs> Just fading, I guess, as uh, here we go. It's just full mayhem in the middle of the map. Both teams looking for an owner, not gonna get the hit, but he gets the kick on in. Kyle is targeted for some reason. They take down the Ash. That's a second one. As Guma's just at the shooting range. Birdo! Birdo with a nice ult, but still flashing. And Owner goes back in. He definitely tasted the blood way too much from this Lee Sin player. But I guess it's okay in this game. As the root comes down onto Envy, he's also probably dead. Fourth shot gets him after the flash as well. And we have 24 kills in 18 minutes. T1 gonna take down. He's like, has died five times this game. <laughs> I don't even feel like he's been making that many mistakes. Oh, he's closer. Dead. Yeah, he's dead. He got a cask off. Uh, okay. Well, he's dead. Oh, no. T1 just going to go ahead and take down the Baron here. As we are just going to throw everything. Get him, including, Willer. Including Willer. Get him. <laughs> Underneath. They, they won't let him get him, right? No, they're just going to kill him, right? Not do the damage. The damage is right, though, and it kind of gets flipped. But Owner still is going to get the smite down. And that is what. Um, 
Ooh. Okay, Bertle's been dodging everything. That is going to be the Sedge Ash combo. Lots of damage through as the Gnar over the wall. They're turning it. Owner goes down. Faker in a lot of trouble as well. Doesn't matter how tanky he is, even with the Seraphs. That's a couple of kills into the pockets. Liv it is. The pockets are being filled. They're being lined up again. Liv Sandbox on the comeback. 800 gold. This game is delivering. Yeah, they're kind of on the chase, actually. Owner are going to get the kick in. They get the knockup! And MV, he's trying to survive, but he does go down in the end. Tried to play it out really nicely, but the Yasuo combo just a bit too much. As that is potentially going to be this Drake here. Willer a little bit too far out. No, they're just going to turn and take down another. As down goes the Gnar. And that will be Hextech Soul over to T right here. And yeah, just, you know, having a bit of fun standing behind them, but they are just going to take the turret and back away. Don't want to overdo it. Now, this is a tough question, Valdez. No. As long as everyone just stands, Hextech Soul stand is, behind Zeus. It's pretty oppressive. Because we, we didn't even discuss it. Uh, oh boy. Well, now there's not even an hour to worry about, but Caria is going to get burst down, as that's the knock up out of the Ezreal. Can they burst him down this time? Envy goes to the stopwatch as Carnage is around him, and immediately he goes down afterwards. Closer is trying his best but it is not good enough in this case. T1 just a little bit too far ahead in this game number two. And by a little bit, I mean a lot at this point. As now they're just gonna be diving into the base. Birdall gets Hextech sold by Keria of all people. And he will eventually be taken out. That should be it. T1 take him down to the mid lane. And they have a lot of fun with this one. 34 kills in 27 minutes, plus Hextech soul. And that should be the game. They're going to take down Willer here, it looks like, as they're trying. Baker, he's got his onions, or at least the stopwatch, and unfortunately the support ash at this point, not going to do enough. As they would love to get in there, the Lee Syndrome, and they take down the Nexus. Just a little bonus kill on top of all of that. T1, a bit of styling tonight, a very happy game number two, but this time it's happy gaming that actually leads to a win for T1 in this case. And after what was a much closer